Quick, make a misfire. All right, this right here is adjustable. I use this one to check ignition coils. Now, sometimes you can have a misfire and still get a spark at this coil. This spark tester is adjustable. Right, I, used to, I used to set like 25, 30 kV. If this coil, this, this type of coil system, DIS, can't fire this, it, you could have a bad coil. But it will still spark if I hold the wire away from the coil. It will spark. But it won't spark this. That means the coil is weak. I, 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 I use this all the way open, right? Not all the way open, no. I don't know, not like, about 25, 30 kV. All the way open, no. Right? I don't want it in my hand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 25, 30 kV. Okay. Right? But that coil, I use this all the time to test that coil. I usually keep two of these in my toolbox. I like the other one, the ST125 tester. You don't adjust it, you just stick it on, you just stick it on the plug. It's like, automatic. It looks, like, it looks just like a little spark plug with a clip oh, okay. on it. I used to have a lot of them. It gives you the power of the combustion chain. That's how much that coil can put out. Uh, tell you that, how much you yeah, well, you see the spark. Right. Now, that coil will fire outside the cylinder when it's weak. Right. Inside the cylinder, it won't fire. It causes the compression, right. the, combustion, the, the combustion temperature, the pressure inside of it, the resistance inside of it. It won't fire. But outside the cylinder, it will fire. You think it's good and it's not. You'd be chasing your tail and have the bad coil. Like this, this, will, this will simulate the condition inside that combustion chain. That, that type of resistance in the so, combustion chamber. So to check this coil, if they're doing sufficient work, it has to be 25 or 30K. 30, that's how you use 25 but these 30 things K. cost a lot, and I had that problem before, and I made mean, it cost me 40 then yeah. just two. It cost like 180. Each, yeah. Each. How far do they just two? They go like, they go to 40, 40, 40. Oh, okay. Yeah, but they have No. Oh, but what? Now if it don't make a misfire now, this one, the cover is missing on this one. What's up, y'all? This is Nate Davis, a.k.a. Small Dog. We're going to look at the AC misfires. Now, let's look at the AC and no two here. You're going to notice the over right now. I explained that in L1 why it's going high. But right now, if it's into performance, look at the ACs. High ACs, high O2, indicating a misfire. Remember, ACs is unburnt gasoline. O2 is oxygen and leave the combustion chamber after, after combustion. Eventually, my CO2 will drop. Remember, AC is unburned gasoline, O2 is oxygen. Those two combinations show we have some type of misfire. In this case, it's an emission misfire. And next day, carbon dioxide, which is CO2, will drop. I'm going to show you another misfire on the test too. You gotta, on the test, you got to identify all these different misfires. All right? I'm going to show you another one. It's the last one. Why is it? What's the movie? Confusing. Confusing. That flash of light indicated a severe misfire that I was causing. Anytime you see a flash like that, flash and light, that means this vehicle has a severe miss. Anytime I check in my flashes like that. Alright, here's gonna be the next one. This is gonna be a misfire. 
but it's going to be an injector misfire, like you had a plug injector. This is how you can tell you have a plug injector, by using an analyzer. I'm going to disconnect one of these injectors. Now start up for me, start up. We're going to see the get rid of first. Now watch the emission reading. Look at the good readings first. Look at the readings. Right there, all right? I know this one is an injector this far. The end stage will be low if I need to once it registers. I don't like when I miss on the chemical this far, you will have a higher speed and higher speed. What, what about the Don't worry about the Now look at the O2 is going to climb and CO2 is coming down. Remember CO2 is carbon dioxide from brushing the picture. Yeah, high O2. Watch the AC. It's going to stay low with the bad injector. That's stuck closed. So I'm going to have low AC, high O2, and low CO2. Watch it now. AC is going to stay low, CO2 is going to drop, and O2 is going to go up. This is a sign of a non-functional injector. Look at this. CO2 is saying something wrong. Yeah, wrong. This is telling me something wrong here. This is telling me I got too much air being pumped. Okay? No fuel, a lot of air. Guess what? Look at the AC. This cleans the whistle. This car has a bad injector. Now if it has a bad injector, let me ask you this. Why the AC is not high? There's a misfire. Look at the car. It's in the misfire. Keep that bandage if you had it. Let me see. Let me see the guy. Yeah, have misfire if you had it. All right. Now, AC is high, right? Look at the AC. I'm not, I'm sorry, not high. He got me confused. It's low. I'm not giving it's low. enough gas. Exactly. Look, it's misfiring. There's no gas. No gas. Because the injector is not, no. not pumping no gas. It's just pumping air. All it's doing is pumping air. There's no gasoline being pumped and the jet is not working. So it don't show unburned gasoline because it's just AC. I mean, because there's no AC going through the combustion chamber. But it's telling me I'm pumping air. You got a lot of air. That could be a vacuum leak also. We seen earlier we had a vacuum like that. Right? But then give it gas and it gets worse, that's a dead mess. And if it was not good, if I had a vacuum leak, it gets smoother. That's how you tell the difference between the two. Yeah, because the spark will burn it up, right? Yeah, because by biometric efficiency change parts off idle. So back when you give it gas, it gets better. A dead miss gets a little worse. And this is an indication. That could be a vacuum leak. On this case, a, a, an injector not working. All right, this is an injector not working. All these, all these are the upcoming tests.